Black holes hold an indescribable fascination. The idea of objects so massive, invisible, and all devouring lurking in space seems equally frightening and interesting. Through their extreme gravitational pull, these objects provide insights into the fundamental laws of physics and help us better understand the workings of our cosmos. A few years ago, experts succeeded for the first time in making something almost unbelievable audible, the collision of two black holes. How this event sounds and what else you need to know about this exceptional cosmic event, you will learn in this video. What does the collision of black holes sound like? In September 2015, scientists succeeded for the first time in detecting gravitational waves generated by colliding black holes. These waves were measured by the LIGO detectors in the US and then converted into audible sounds. LIGO stands for Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. These high-precision instruments were developed specifically to measure gravitational waves generated by astronomical events, such as collisions of black holes and neutron stars. The detectors use laser beams that reflect back and forth between two high-precision mirrors, which can detect slight shifts in gravitational wave frequencies. The LIGO project consists of two detectors, one in Hanford, Washington, and one in Livingston, Louisiana. The laser beams travel with arms 4 kilometers long each. Gravitational waves emitted infinitely far away from us in the cosmos can be registered within these measurement arms by the shifts they cause in the space-time fabric. This technology is incredibly fascinating. But now, you surely want to know what the sound of black holes banging into each other is like. The result of the measurement was a dull sound which reminds us of the impact of water drops on a solid surface. This unique recording was made by a team of scientists from various countries and institutions. Among others, researchers and technicians from the California Institute of Technology, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and the French research organization CNRS were involved. The collision of two black holes is an event of incredible size and energy that permanently alters the structure of space-time. As you can see, the gravitational waves that are generated are noticeable even on Earth, albeit in a very, very fine range. Why do black holes collide? Besides the fascination of this sound, the question naturally arises, why do black holes collide at all and what happens in the process? Surely, you know that black holes are the biggest and heaviest known objects in the universe. Object would actually be a bit of a stretch, because actually these cosmic giants consist of nothing. However, this nothing is very heavy for so far unexplainable reasons, and bends the space-time in a way that extreme attraction forces develop. Black holes not only attract stars, planets, and other cosmic objects, they also exert a strong gravitational pull on each other. Once the event horizons of two black holes collide, there is no turning back. However, it is not that one black hole devours and digests the other. Rather, they merge into a single, even larger black hole. In the process, incredibly large amounts of energy and power collide, and yet an event of this magnitude produces no more noise than a few drops. Sound Propagation in the Cosmos Sometimes you hear or read that the universe would be completely silent because sound cannot propagate in the cosmos. This is not true. It's true that sound needs a medium to propagate, and that's not quite as abundant there as it is on Earth, where air is the medium of sound. Big bangs or fire hisses during battles of spaceships, as often depicted in the movies, would indeed not be audible in space. Nevertheless, 
There are subtle transmissions of wave events, and finally, all events in the cosmos are events, where waves and frequencies are generated. In the vacuum of interstellar space, pressure waves and oscillations can be transmitted by ionized gas and plasma. Nevertheless, these events are not audible, in a sense, because the waves are in bandwidths far beyond human hearing. To translate astronomical phenomena into audible signals, researchers use the technique of sonification. Sonification is the scientific method of converting data of all kinds into audible sounds. There are several techniques of sound translation. One commonly used method is to assign data values to pitches, volumes, or timbres. For example, the main color values from famous masterpieces of painting could be converted into sounds by mapping the color scale to the musical scale. In this way, Da Vinci's Mona Lisa could become audible. Another technique is to use algorithmic patterns to create sounds. For example, the mathematical structure of a molecule or a galaxy could be converted into a sequence of sounds. Sonification is now also used in medical technology. In special diagnostic procedures, medical images or measured values are converted into sounds, making the results easier to interpret. Health actually sounds quite different from a disorder. What other sounds do black holes make? Further, of course, the exciting question arises whether black holes make other sounds. And yes, they do. When matter falls into a black hole, the accretion disk around the black hole is heated, and this produces minimal emissions in the form of electromagnetic radiation, and this can be converted into sound by sonification. To put it casually, this would be the digestive sounds of a black hole. The curvature of space-time, which is caused by the giants, produces, of course, also waves. Also, these can be translated, like almost every event in the cosmos, into sounds. Collision of black holes confirms relativity theory. Today, general relativity forms the basis for our modern understanding of the cosmos. About 100 years ago, the mathematician Albert Einstein described the structure of the universe for the first time on the basis of formulas and equations. Yet, most of these assumptions were anything but proven facts. For Einstein, they were mathematical logic and necessity. The theory of relativity explains how matter, gravity, and space-time interact with each other. Many of the assumptions and formulas were not confirmed until decades later by real observations in space. Einstein's formulas also included dark stars. Later, the objects that eventually became quite real black holes were also called completely collapsed massive objects. Black holes are usually formed from very massive stars that collapse at the end of their lives. When a star with a mass of at least three solar masses has used up its nuclear fuel, it can become a black hole through gravitational collapse. The collapse of the star leads to an extreme compression of matter. The remnants of the star then possess a gravitational force so strong that nothing that enters the black hole can escape from it. All these old names for black holes describe pretty well what these phenomena are all about. The discovery of gravitational waves in black hole collisions was able to reconfirm Einstein's theory of relativity because the measurement proved that gravitational waves do exist and they propagate at the speed of light. This is exactly what was predicted in the theory. But the confirmation goes much further because the measured waveform also exactly matched the predictions of general relativity. This strengthens confidence in the correctness of the theory and opened up new possibilities for observing the universe through gravitational wave detectors. Why black holes have no hair. So far, everything still sounds scientific and good. But when we now come to a theorem that says black holes don't have hair, you might wonder a bit. What sounds crazy, however, has a sound scientific background. The physical no hair theorem states that the only observable values of a black hole are its mass and angular momentum. 
This theorem was first formulated by physicist John Archibald Wheeler. In other words, the theorem states that the physical properties of all black holes are exactly the same. Therefore, it's impossible to distinguish one from another. This would be quite different if black holes had hair and could be distinguished by their hairstyle. However, this does not mean for sure that black holes do not have properties or signatures that are unique. In our cosmos, there are so far no stars which resemble each other up to the hair. On the contrary, the universe shows us an unbelievable variety of individual characteristics and seems almost like a law that no object exists exactly twice. Why should this principle stop at black holes? It is quite possible that further properties emanate from giants, which we cannot measure or understand so far, nor do we yet know what goes on inside. It's quite possible that quantum physics will soon change this. This is because scientists have found that quanta inside black holes and quanta flying beyond the event horizon into space are entangled. If we can eventually crack the quantum information structure, we could also communicate with the inside of black giants via light particles. Mysterious Black Giants So far, black holes and dark matter are the great unknowns in the cosmos. All that is clear is that they play a major role within the fabric of space-time. According to theories, they could even be wormholes into other quadrants of the cosmos, or even in other dimensions or parallel worlds. Black holes are also not black in the literal sense, but they only appear black because they cannot reflect or emit light. The only exception to this is Hawking radiation, which has already been described briefly, where one of two entangled quantum pairs penetrates beyond the event horizon to the outside. Objects that do not emit electromagnetic radiation such as visible light, infrared radiation, or radio waves cannot normally be seen with our eyes or instruments. Black holes exert the strongest gravitational forces in the universe known and detected to date. As such, they contribute significantly to the structure of space-time and influence the motion of stars, gas, and dust. In the cosmos, all objects interact with each other. For astronomers, black holes are important tools for understanding the behavior of galaxies and their evolution. The concepts of the event horizon and singularity at the center of a black hole allow further conclusions to be drawn about processes within the cosmos and ultimately about its formation history. Singularity is a physical concept that refers to a point in space where gravity is so strong that it becomes mathematically infinite. In terms of black holes, the singularity is the point at the center of the black hole where the density and curvature of space becomes infinite. Currently, it's assumed that at the singularity, the known laws of physics no longer apply. Singularity is thus a central and mysterious aspect of physics. Also, the beginning point of our cosmos, before it came to the Big Bang, is supposed to have been such a singularity. Research into black giants is truly in its infancy, but physics does not sleep. Hundreds of researchers worldwide are at this very moment deciphering the mysteries of these phenomena in space. As new findings become available, we will of course share them with you immediately. We thank you for watching, appreciate your comments, and hope you had a great time. We'll see you next time at Simply Space.